what is up ladies and gents welcome back to the channel troll loot here today we have tips and tricks of the trade in fortnite for those that are having difficulty with learning this whole building piece aspect of fortnite now practice does make perfect and you can look up many youtube videos that teach you how to be better builders and whatnot but i'll have to tell you i don't know that i'll ever get there i'm just not that coordinated not that fast enough on the keyboard to outbuild people there's a lot of strategy that goes into how to do it and I, I hats off to those folks they're very talented keyboarders but i think the overall majority of us let's say 80 percent or more are going to align more with uh we're just in the game for the pew pew aspect and we're just going to shoot around and try to get to the end game what I'm going to try to cover here today is how to get to that in-game best situation and try to set yourself up for success. That being said, I have a video here. Uh, this was originally a challenge from uh, run from Tomato Town to Shifty Shafts. So this was not set up originally for a, uh, a winning game, but it does show the, uh, the aspects that we need to cover to get to in-game and win. So let's fast forward through this and get to the meaty parts and uh, we'll go over the tips and tricks of the trade. Tip number one, figure out where you're going to land and try to make it be a place that's not highly contested. The last thing that you want to do is have a confrontation right off the bat and have to build. Again, this is for people who have difficulty building like myself. The name of the game is get through the game to the end, not die immediately. Dying immediately gets you very low XP and getting in the top five to top three gets you higher XP and better experience at how you go about shooting and killing your opponents. So all those that uh, group up and or solo into all the highly contested areas you're setting yourself up for failure right off the bat tip number two shields and running technique now these may not sound like they have much to do with each other they kind of don't but they kind of do you need to pick up shields on your runs as you go through areas that are not highly contested and make sure that you have something that just in case you get hit you can take a hit uh, running technique, you'll see that I jump a little bit here and there. You want to make yourself harder to hit. Uh, and just like you saw me grab that piece there to make yourself invisible, you want to make sure you're getting through the map as invisible as possible. Now, people can still see it, but it's much more difficult for them to make out that you're doing this, but it allows you to travel through the map much quicker and get to points that you need to be at there's going to be a storm coming and that storm closes in in a circle and you want to try to make yourself as close to the middle as that circle as, as possible before everyone else is showing up to the party. Tip number three, have at least one weapon. Now I know this sounds kind of ridiculous because it is a game about shooting, but you're going to want to have a weapon on you so that you can actually gather the materials that you need. People are collecting these things as you're running through the map. And what you want to be able to do is take those things from these people. Granted, you're not the best builder in the world, but you can win at a gunfight. And so winning this fight is the crucial aspect of this all. And it's going to make for a better end game. So right here, I take out a guy and I've captured everything that he's been gathering for the last five minutes. So that in and of itself has granted me the ability to push a little further down the road and into the end game a little more. Uh, so make sure you have a weapon when you land, grab one, and then just head out into where you think the middle of the circle is going to be and get prepared for what comes next. All right, so we come to the more difficult part, patience through the storm. Now what this means is, is we're going to have to wait for the storm to come to us because we're not going to push all the way to the center of the circle because there's going to be a lot of battles that are going on there that you're simply not going to win as a, uh, as a builder that is having difficulty. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to find a place where we can kind of sit low for a little while and watch people as they come in from the storm and take shots where we, uh, where we can. Uh, to our ability. So at this point, what we're going to see here 
is I'm going around Shifty Shaft and I'm checking the area out and I'm finding a good spot where I can just kind of lay low for a little bit and wait for the storm to come to me. And what you'll see here is eventually, uh, just checking out everything, eventually you'll see everyone moving from left to right toward the center of the circle. Now, this is the most vulnerable part of the game because essentially what you're doing is camping for a little while. Uh, not necessarily camping the aspect of trying to kill everyone, but camping and letting them all get by you so they can all go and die to whoever it is that's in the middle. So find a nice little spot where you can kind of sit and lay low for a little while and wait for the storm to come in because what we're going to be doing is riding the tail of the storm as it comes in and once that storm comes in you're going to have 10 or less people in the center of that circle probably more like five and you'll have a much more uh, a much better ability at getting to that end game winning spot than you will if you just go ahead and rush to the center at this point so again we're going to be patient here we're going to watch the storm kind of move in uh, actually, I'm probably moving a little bit too much, but uh, I have a good spot to where I can kind of eagle eye everything. And what you see there, you see a person running by. Now, I could make a move here and take some shots, but what that's going to end up doing is causing a battle. And it's going to cause me to have to build. And that person coming out of shifty is probably going to have a really good chance at taking me out there. So instead of attacking them now, what I want to do is watch where they go. Watch that there's no one behind them as the storm moves in. And then what you'll see me do here is I'll come up behind them on the backside. And it'll give me a much better ability at knocking their shield and their health down lower at a much faster rate. So you see the storm moving in. You see there's no one in the wake of it now there could still be people behind it there's still people that ride behind the storm but what i'm doing is, is i'm watching this person and i'm making sure that they get far enough ahead of me and i'm between them and the storm and now i start to make my move i get out of my hiding spot and they are far enough ahead to where they can't hear me and I can start making a, a better move up toward them. And what, again, what this will allow me to do is set up uh, my spot so that I can better attack them, not being a great builder. Uh, so let's move on over to the ramp and get up on the other side and see what's up on the other side for us. All right, tip number five. Uh, it's going to be check your corners and stay invisible. Now, this was kind of discussed earlier on about making your way through the map and staying invisible. But the reality is, is in real life, you would not just rush people head on and just start fighting them. Uh, as you've seen on maybe TV or some sort, you'd see police come in and they would check their corners and they would check and make sure that the area was open or someone was there. But you want to make sure you can see everyone before they see you because the last thing you want to do is run out there in the middle of the place and get shot up by two or three people coming from different directions of the map because at this point the map is closed in so much so the circles so much smaller that it's easy to kind of run into people so check your corners make sure that you're not being followed like i was following this person now i will lose this person eventually in the video because uh, other things occur <clears throat> but what i'm doing here is i'm just checking to make sure people aren't running up on me and uh basically d killing me right then and there on the map so i'm checking around I'm running up and i'm listening to make sure i don't hear footsteps if i hear footsteps we're in trouble uh to make my way over to the house the storm is moving in again. You heard it make its uh, announcement that the circle is closing up. I'm checking back and forth. And at this point, I feel uncomfortable. And I want to find a nice little quick hiding spot. So I find a corner and I lay low. And I hear footsteps. This person runs right past me. 
And what I do is I know I'm going to have to take this person on. This person is close enough for me to take out without building. So I run right up on them and two shots. That person's gone and all the equipment that they've been collecting for me is now mine. I'm going to pick up uh, the blue sniper here. That is going to be a key element of my win because I'm going to need that here in the end game. So let's move a little closer in. And again, I'm checking my corners and what do I see? Another person, scoped. So again, you get better at shooting, not so good at building. These are the type of things you can do. I'm moving around as to not get shot in one spot because if I sit up there and just start looting, then I'm open for a sniper shot. So I'm checking my corners and I'm moving around. I move into this building. I wanna make sure no one's in there. And I'm checking corners and I'm making sure no one's around. This part, I'm just gonna let you watch as I use some of these techniques. I, uh, I'm checking the corners. I'm gonna be watching the storm as it moves in, checking for people. I wanna be as confident with the storm having my back as possible uh, because I wanna focus more on the front side of the storm than on the back side. So I'm moving with the storm. I'm checking my corners. I'm checking the area, looking for people to make sure I'm not running out in front of them. So let's leave the, uh, the spot here and move forward a little as we look around and start moving into a town area uh, where anyone could be anywhere. We're going to be doing the same technique. So I'm gonna be quiet for a little bit and just kind of let you watch and see me using these techniques uh, as we move up.
right, tip number six. Be prepared for a war zone near the end. At this point, the circle has started closing in enough to where it's gotten together roughly six to eight people. So you want to be patient. You want to look at your area, kind of fill it out really quick, see where everyone is, and take action. This guy is a very good sniper. I have to wait on him to take a shot. Focused on someone else. There's a land. I sit back and I become patient. I'm not rushing him. I'm not building toward him. There's a lot of wars going on and I just want to be uh, outside the box throwing rocks at a glass house situation. Uh, I don't want to be in the middle of it. I just want to be taking HP off of people where I can. And so we have to kind of patiently move up and understand how many people are left and where they're at. Tip number seven, if at all possible, make them come to you. Now I'm gonna do a little build here. It's not much, it's a ramp, ramp, and then a level off. And it's really easy. I mean, you can't really be considered a master builder by doing that, but it's just enough to kind of get over and see a little bit more of the area. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to take a spot that someone else has already gotten and I'm going to make this my spot. And all I'm simply going to do is build a ramp and a wall. That does not make me a master builder by any means. It just gives me an area to kind of sit up in and kind of make a nest out of. And I'm going to look around, check my areas just like I did before. And I'm going to check out who's fighting who and be patient. Patient, patient, patient. Took a shot knowing that guy is not going to return fire. He's fighting with someone else. Uh, as you saw, there's stuff over there. I don't really want to go over there because I know there's snipers in the area and they're probably waiting for people to go and, and collect those things and die. So I'm just going to be patient here. I'm going to try to get them to come to me. You can't see it, but the circle is actually on top of me. It's not on top of them. The next circle, they're going to have to move to my direction. I know that. I'm going to use that to my advantage. And all I'm doing is sitting back, taking pot shots and knocking some health down so that eventually when they get over here uh, I'll be able to finish them off with whatever I can collect and and take care of them with so just kind of watch through this and you'll see at the very end they'll start making movements this way and I'm just gonna throw rocks at them as they as they move over here Just checking in on them, see where they're at. Making a move. So they have to fight each other. Don't want to stay in one spot too long. I notice they're moving up. I'm missing, but I'm taking shots. This part of the storm is the most dangerous part because it ticks for more help don't want to end up in this part of the storm it is not forgiving I'm grenading him I'm gonna switch to sniper once take a shot and then it's just the green burst gun at the end you'll see here I'll finish him off I have to switch and it's one-on-one -on -one. it's me or him I'm gonna use my jump techniques here to kind of make him miss and get behind him and that's the game so seven tips of the trade there will help you with the game help you kind of get through it to the end game because the goal is if you're not a great builder you probably need to uh to adjust a little bit for better shots and better spots to take so that you can knock the last couple people out and win the game that being said I hope you enjoyed the uh, the seven tips, tricks, and trades of Fortnite for people who have difficulty building. And check us out on the channel. Sub if you like. And most importantly, have a great day.